What's going on everybody? This is Afro Think Tank. Now, in the spirit of Pan-Africanism, I'm going to be some of these people's uh, social media advisors and I'm going to give an open social media uh, con consultation to some of these black folks on YouTube because I don't, I don't think they figured it out. It's time to pivot. Some of you black people, most of you Kunarians, it's time to pivot, guys, right? And hey, look, I'm being your advisor, right? I'm just talking from a from a success point of view, right? Which you should be doing now, because a lot of you guys, y'all can't y'all can't read the room. I, I've I'm, I've been fully educated on the fact that you guys are, have zero situational awareness. You can't read the room. You can't read the crowd. You can't read the momentum of of uh, the planet. Now, even politicians know when to shift, when to move position, when to backpedal. Those are all tactics, even though they're always called out when it happens. They're always all tactics that can be used by professionals who need to change their opinion or change their position based on realities on the ground. Okay? Now, a lot of you black males out there who think it's still cool and fashionable to come on here and talk shit about black women disguising it as other things right it's like saying oh i'm not racist right i just i'm against woke it's like we all know what you mean by woke you can dress it up and try to pretend like you're talking about gay people right because it's okay for you to talk about gay people you just can't say that exact same thing and say black people so instead of saying i'm tired of them niggas i'm tired of the nigga agenda they say i'm tired of the woke agenda instead of instead of saying i'm tired of black people taking all of our high-end jobs i'm tired of black people taking control i'm tired of black people doing these things they say i'm tired black people are all dei hired meaning any black person in the position of any type of power must have been hired but because they were black or because it's women because no way they are actually capable enough to do the job no way while at the same time not having to have any qualifications for a white male because them being a white male is, is all it takes for them to be assumed to be qualified and no questions need to be asked right and you black people are falling on a hill. You're dying on a hill that that is about to be blown the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? All right, because you are no longer going to be the flavor. Trump is done, bro. Like, Trump was a TV figure, right? People like Trump the same way they like Carol Dandridge. That song with Carol with the white tiger dude. All right, they like him, but they don't really like him. And as, as loyal as they may seem to him, as soon as he's, they see him falter, just like any uneducated uh, fanboy, they switch teams and go to another team because they're casual political observers. They're not real. So all this support and all this money you think you're going to make via these white folks who are closing ranks because they don't want you a part of their club. Even though you black people like clowns, right? Like clowns, like pathetic, sad, embarrassing clowns are kneeling and crawling to white power, trying to make it look cool, trying to put some black on it, trying to put some cool on it. The same way they like to put some cool on everything else, some black on everything else to make it sellable and pliable to the newer generation. They're trying to use you idiots and clowns because they seem to think you cool because white people really don't know us because they think you're the cool cats. Right. That's why y'all look weird making your stupid raps, trying to put hip hop and white supremacy together and shit, trying to trying to be like, oh, you know, trying to utilize the American Americanness as a fucking a glue to get black men and white men to kumbaya against black women because black women got the nerve to stand up for black power in the black family and and, and and black excellence while some of these coon ass freaking revenge of the nerd freaking black dudes are spilling their insecurities about not being able to get a woman and because of that they hate all women especially women in power because they got mommy issues and shit right you guys are about to not be the flavor of the month you understand you guys are, when Trump is done, because Trump is done, I know you guys like to pretend and fake like Trump ain't got a lot of legal issues or like y'all y'all not paying attention to any news. I know all news is fake to y'all, but it, it's only real when it goes with your narrative. But when it goes against your narrative, it's all fake. Everybody who talks about Trump, all statistics, all polls, I, I get it. It's all fake. It's not real. It's the deep state. Everything's the deep state. Everybody's the, everybody but Donald Trump MAGA is the deep state, and everybody's against you guys. I understand that, right? But even white people, right, Republicans, are shifting away from Donald Trump. All right, Donald Trump has spoiled his marketability by going against the military. You guys are so unaware of your situation. Even the real patriotic Americans who are Republicans have left Donald Trump. They're disgusted with Donald Trump. And yet there's still some coons who drunk the Kool-Aid so goddamn hard that you don't see that you Negroes are the only ones left. 
you along with some of them 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 hillbilly West Virginia yep yep guys huh it's, it's just you MAGA and the inbreds that's it they just not smart enough to realize that Trump is not a patriot because if they if they knew when they figure it out when they aunties and them whisper in their ear that that Trump not a patriot they're gonna be like yep yep nope and it's that serious and you guys like i'm telling you you guys are looking every day y'all look like clowns coming on the internet lying your asses out people know that uh, people know that trump didn't do shit now your lies see was when everybody was lying you know your lies was disguised and hidden between other people's lives but the thing is people don't they're tired of that shit they're telling the truth now and they're tired of the games the side show is done the world can't afford donald trump we have major things happening in europe the entire world is trying to get back to the business of conducting global freaking business and they don't have time for trump sideshow there's too many interests at hand very powerful interests that in other countries there's whole nations this whole the the the, the fate of european freedom is on the line and what they can't have is an idiot who don't know what he's talking about that just want to pander to people so he can get some vote who truly don't care to mess up hundreds of years of european global dom dominance even though I'm all for that. Like, that's going to happen. I don't think that's going to that's gonna stop. It's going to be hundreds of years of globe. Like, you're, they're going down. Y'all going down, right? And I understand that's why all this is happening. And you need to understand, <laughs> black people, that Europeans are having an existential crisis right now. This ain't got shit to do with us. Y'all sitting over here down, down, freaking crying about uh, um, abortion like that's a black problem. Abortion's not a black problem. It's a white problem. They're the ones who's, who's doing everything within every country that they control to try to promote and force their women to have babies because they went their white women are not having babies. They're the ones that's trying to roll back rules and regulations that give white women freaking uh, rights because they want those white women not to be working. They want those white women to dislodge themselves from the white Western world that they allowed to be created, right? In order to force their white women to have babies because they, they are on emergency time. They got co European countries that's paying white women to have babies, all right? But I, I know you don't seem to realize it, but America has a population problem. There's not enough white people. They are in panic. There's not enough people in America to do the jobs necessary for the country to run. That's what you guys don't understand. Y'all talking about immigration like you're going to stop some shit. The rich white people are bringing in the brown people to do the work the poor white people don't want to do. And there's not enough poor white people to do it in the first goddamn place. Y'all have absolutely no idea what y'all talking about. Y'all down on these hills just looking absolutely retarded. So all the right-wing GOP policies are, pre are white preservation policies. And they got y'all clown black asses out here, out here dying on your heels, using all your power, burning all your bridges against your people, while at the same time they have absolutely no respect for you. Not one white conservative Republican MAGA has any respect for you black people. None of you black MAGA, y'all will garner no respect from the people you say you want us to be a part of. And if Myron Gaines has not proved that, when you can see openly, these white people don't want you in their club. They don't want you in their group. They don't support you. They think you're clowns and you think you're traitors to your community. We know that you are traitors to your community. The white people know you're traitors to your community. They don't respect you. They don't like you. They don't trust you. They don't trust you, <laughs> right? So it's best for you, especially Brandon. Brandon should get off the internet for at least a month. And he need to come back and just tell everybody that he was faking the whole time. He was doing it for views. And that he's really a Pan-African. He was trolling the whole time. If I was him, I would do it. And nobody's going to believe him, but I will stick with that shit. He seems to be able to stick with stuff that's not the truth. I mean, he's he's been he's been dying on his 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 fantasy this whole time. Why can't he make a whole other fantasy and pivot? All you all you other freaking red pill manosphere guys, y'all think it's cool to keep disrespecting black women? Do you realize that black women are about to take over? This this goddamn this country. Do you realize that policy is about to be put in place that should be put in place that shouldn't allow Negroes like you to make money disrespecting their own kind? Because it's ridiculous. You're not about to be cool, bro. Y'all about to be the you already the pariah of the black community. You already on the outside. We already clowning you and looking at you. We all already don't believe you. All y'all YouTube channels are going down. Nobody's listening to the white folks. And, and Brandon's so damn stupid, he got the nerve to call himself a pan-African, which is not going to help his algorithm to push him towards uh, conservatives because ain't no fucking conservative typing in pan-Africanism when looking for a coon that's going to back up all his mental ills and the things he want to believe. So calling himself a pan-African, strike back, and being a right-wing Christian conservative, which is in fucking possible, by the way, 
is the dumbest fucking marketing scheme I've ever heard on black YouTube. But because they're all dumb as shit, they they don't they don't have situation awareness and that they're, they're not they're not they're not aware that the a analytics is not going to help you out. Right? Cooning is no longer going to be paying. Like cooning used to pay. Right? Even the pay the paid coons have slowed down. Even the paid coons know that if they're going to continue to be coons and survive in this world, they're going to have to jump this ship and wait for another viable white person to come along they can attach themselves to the coon for. Even they breaking off. So the only one left are the retards who have absolutely no idea of what they're talking about, who have absolutely no idea what they're doing, who have no situational awareness and can't read the room. And those are the people that at the bottom, like when you when you sifting Right at the bottom of the trash can, right? They the juice at the bottom of the trash can. You don't know what the fuck that shit is, right? They don't nobody want to have nothing to do with it. That's why you notice all their channels are going down. They get more subscribers because they're sideshows, but they get less views. Because when people listen to them for like a three second, they're like, oh, fucking, this guy's retorted. Right? <laughs> okay? So all I'm saying, hey, as your social media advisor, I implore all of you guys who think they're talking about Kamala Harris... Uh, questioning her blackness when the rest of the black 90-90% of the black world are upper class, our middle class, and low class. We ain't on that time. All right, we're not on that time. Only you coon. We you're identifying your coonery, coonarian, coonarianess by questioning her blackness. Especially since y'all same ones that was questioning her blackness was not questioning that South Africans black. Matter of fact, y'all was offended that that South African said she was colored and that she wasn't black. Y'all was upset. Y'all was mad that she didn't claim her blackness. But this one who's been black her whole life, all of a sudden. Because you saw a couple clips on the internet, you're going to say her whole life she didn't claim black. How stupid do you guys sound? And you bet you guys think y'all sound smart. You guys are looking like clowns. It's time to pivot. If you want to be on this social media and be taken seriously in the future, it's time to pivot. Don't be like Sotomayor. Homie couldn't pivot. Now look at him. He's a fucking, he's the number one clown. Hmm? Anyway, that's all I got to say. It's Afro Think Tank. Learn some cheat some. I'm out.